We are with Nordic Semiconductor at Embedded World 2024, and Tobian is about to show me a Wi-Fi video transfer project. But before we do, there's a bit of history to this. Uh, when Bluetooth 5 first came out, Tobion put together an example project to show that you could actually send video over Bluetooth 5 at quite a decent rate. And this project has now been updated to work with the uh, uh, NR, uh, NRF7002, which is Wi-Fi's flagship uh, Wi-Fi 6IC. So do you want to talk me through uh, exactly the differences in this project and the kind of challenges that you face putting it together? Yeah, so as you said, this was based on an older Bluetooth demo where we basically showed the different throughputs you could achieve with Bluetooth Low Energy. And now we had these Wi-Fi chipsets, we thought, how can we sort of demonstrate the capabilities we have with this new Wi-Fi IC? Yeah. And this development kit essentially combines the 5340, which is our current flagship uh, short-range part, which does Bluetooth Low Energy and some other protocols. It also has the 7002, which is the Wi-Fi 6 chipset. And essentially we extended this demo to not only stream it over Bluetooth, but also stream it over Wi-Fi as well. And what this allows us to do, we can basically compare the throughputs we can get, we can test out the coexistence features of the device, and see is the Bluetooth transfer impacting the Wi-Fi transfer in any way, we can sort of evaluate that. And we can basically send to these two different uh, clients at the same time. Uh, so why we, what we got running here is we have this uh, Python client running on the PC, uh, the DK here is connected to the Wi-Fi router over in the boot. Uh, that is connected to the PC over an Ethernet cable. So that will receive a Wi-Fi stream and then at the same time it's connected to this phone over Bluetooth directly. Sure, okay. So you're basically streaming it parallel to both of these uh, devices. Uh, both of these clients are sort of synchronized. So whenever I send a command here to change the resolution or start a stream or something like that, that will be reflected on the other side. Uh, you can either stream on one of the clients at, the sa uh, at one time or you can stream on both of the clients at the same time. And when you do that, it will actually, at the moment, it will limit the speed to the slowest link. So if you're streaming over Bluetooth, that will typically limit the Wi-Fi transfer speed. Yeah. At this boot, we're actually seeing the reverse sometimes where the Bluetooth link is faster, yeah. simply because there's so much Wi-Fi interference in the area. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I guess we can do a quick demo right now. So if I just want to take a picture, you can do that. Mm -hmm. You can also start the stream. And again, if you're running at relatively low resolution, this is, it's technically not a video stream, it's technically a series of JPEG images. Yeah. But when you're running it at a smaller resolutions, it will uh, provide a video-like experience because the frame rate is close to 30 frames per second. Then I can also try to start the stream on the Wi-Fi client. Yeah. So now that you see it starts going, now it will, now it's actually running a bit slower it seems. Yeah. Uh, I can stop it here if I want. That might speed up the Wi-Fi in some cases. Mm -hmm. Uh, if I change the resolution on this side, it should also change the resolution on the Wi-Fi client. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that takes a bit of time to get working. I think you have to adjust the brightness level of the camera. And one uh, one thing I will point out quickly at this stage, um, if you've ever been on a conference floor and tried to use Wi-Fi, you know what's going on here. <laughs> Everybody is firing radio signals in every single direction here because everyone is showing off their tech, um, which is why things are a little bit uh, yeah garbled here at times. Uh, one other point I do want to uh, really hammer home as well, you did mention this briefly, is that um, the, you can do simultaneous broadcast over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. In this particular demo, the Wi-Fi rate is limited via Bluetooth, but it doesn't have to be that way, does it? You could have separate buffers for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and still have simultaneous broadcast because of the coexistence features of the, uh, the way that the IC works with the MCU. Do I have that correct? You should be able to do that. So it's, yeah. it's more or less a memory issue. So if you send really large images, you cannot because you don't have the RAM in the 5340 to yeah. store that whole image. Yeah. But if you're sending it like 320, 240 resolution, you should be able to sort of store the whole image in RAM and then you can pipe it at different speeds to the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi client. Absolutely. So it should be possible to extend the demo to do some things like that. Absolutely. And, um, uh, and as you mentioned at the start, uh, the uh, NRF7002 IC and the NRF5340 are all uh, on the development kit for the NRF7002. If people want to get started with that, what's the best place for them to get hold of the development kit and get started with demos and software and things now? Yeah, so this kit has been out for uh, at least a year now, so that can be had from most major distributors like DigiKey or Mouser or Plutonic, Avnet, uh, these guys as well. Mm -hmm. You can also hook us up on nordicsemi.com and uh, inquire information about this kit if you're interested. Uh, also, this demo is available on GitHub, so if someone wants to check it out at home, they just have to buy this Aducam uh, SBI camera, okay. hook it up to the kit, and they can also play around with this Wi-Fi streaming demo if they want to give it a go. Absolutely, and, um, and I will make sure that uh, links to get the kit and the links to the uh, GitHub are in the description of this video and also the accompanying blog post. Tobian, thank you so much for the demo today. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.